Dick Masterson, host of the Dick Show. How are you doing? I mean, sir? it's not Ralph. It's not the Socratic method. If you're talking about dads fucking their daughters, is it? Is that what we're? I, I was on with Richard Holy Spencer, shit. Right? I was less uncomfortable than listening to that shit right now. What was that? Why are there so many fucking pedophiles calling in? What the fuck is this? Wait, what? Why does everyone uh, hear who's a pedophile? Daughters. This is so fucking weird. Uh, yeah. Hey, Des Tiny, it's good to talk to you again. It's been a while. I tuned in just a couple minutes ago, and Wait, I already heard my name getting thing? tossed around. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember when you were crawling back to PKA, and even they said you got fucking trash when we talked last? That was so fucking embarrassing. I felt bad for you there for a little bit. I mean, it sounds like you're excited about it, to be I honest. I like it when I get a good um, video, especially on people I as think, popular as you, my dude. I think everybody's got you pegged, man. You argue in bad faith. You uh, you generalize to a point. Like, I just listened to you say that the Second Amendment is somehow akin to incest. It's gibberish. Like, you, you talk you gibberish. So and you, you leave them hanging there without ever justifying them? It, like, makes an argument or... That's, destiny. I guess, generally what you do, isn't it? Destiny, destiny the problem with incest. Destiny, is remember? That's tiny. That was your original destiny. joke. You can remember? Destiny. The problem with incest is the grooming. It's not the Second Amendment. This is what you do. You drive people insane because you have this, you have some kind of mutant ability to shamelessly obfuscate arguments and argue in bad oh, faith, and it's terrible. To conservatives, that probably seems like black magic. I agree. I understand it can be confusing. Yeah. Um, look, man, you want to entertain hypotheticals, entertain the hypothetical of ever using a peephole in your front door. What does that mean? Because I'm too short to use it? What does that yeah. mean? Where was that Trump quote, buddy? Where was that Trump quote that somebody asked you to come up with? 20000 a month on Patreon, and these are the kind of D-minus insults you come here with? Come on, dude, you got to have something more original than that. It's it's remarkable how much you I've come to respect how much you wind people up. Um, yeah. I mean, it's what I do for I a living. Right? Do it on, I don't think you do it on purpose. I think you're doing a good thing, which is what which is what makes everybody angry. Or it, it was it, it's what makes me angry about it. Okay. Uh, you you cause less understanding. Like, you know, goddamn well what people are saying. You know, goddamn well what that guy's saying. And you choose to misunderstand it to get argument points. Well, and that's, I think that's what pisses people off because that's like, that's one of the big divides that like all of us are just regular guys calling in and trying to hammer shit out and you, you argue for sport. And I think that's what makes you a son of a bitch. And that, I think that's, I think a lot of people see it. Yeah. So I think the problem is that what happens is, and we went over this in our last call and I'll gladly revisit any of these topics if you want. The problem is that a lot of people don't realize that what they're making are incredibly feels-based arguments. And what I like to do is take your feels-based argument and run it through a filter and see if it's logically consistent. And more often than not, arguments that come from a place of feeling don't usually survive logical scrutiny. And that's why, and that's where the frustration comes from. You feel like you have so much conviction yeah. and then you come in and as soon as I ask one or two. Go ahead, go ahead, Ron. Your total worldview just completely collapses. And you're like, fuck, I'm so angry right now. And that's pretty much what I did to you the last time we spoke. I mean, I understand the frustration. It's really frustrating to analyze things you've never critically examined before. I think that you get off on that. But I think what you actually do is look for any place that you might introduce some wiggle, wiggle room. And you start building a case around that. Like, you know, you, you can work with the guy. You can work with the guy who's calling in and talking about incest. There's a lot of reason incest is bad. Grooming children is, is very bad. It's abusive. It's putting, the, it's putting human beings that are in a state that are vulnerable in the care of other people. We're all very uncomfortable. But you choose to make it about the second amendment. Like you choose to make it about very bizarre things to win an argument. You're like high school debate, man. It's not, you're not about helping people understand their positions. You're just about dominantly humping anything that you can see. You're like a wild dog just wandering around looking for something to hump because you've net, you can't see over the counter. Like that's why, that's why I hate you. And I think that's why a lot of people hate you. I, it's all political at the end of the day. Like I know you hate Trump. So you fight anything that has to do with Trump, but just as a person, that's why I hate you. And I think that's why a lot of people hate you too. 
Yeah, I agree. And I'm okay with being hated for that. Like my frustration is that when I got into politics, like really only three or four years ago, you didn't get I, into politics. Like you, you're just like, what, what are you, I mean, who's paying you to get into politics? You just run your mouth on the fucking internet. The thousands of subscribers I have, the people that watch my YouTube videos, the people that watch my, That's, I mean, you're not getting into politics. How are okay, you getting into, I, let's play your you, game. How are you, you getting into politics? What, I do. what are you, what do you call for? what I do? You run your mouth for a living on the internet. Sure. So, yeah. it's, which is the exact politics. same thing I do. So you're no better than me or anybody else. You just sit there and talk shit online. Than anybody yeah. Else. yeah. I was better than anyone else, but I mean, like, if you I get mean, on your entertainment, that's what, what you are. Your entertainment. Okay, sure. Political entertainment. Can I say that? I'm not into politics then, or we'll just say entertainment if that's the less triggering form for you. Okay. So when I got into, I'm not triggered at all. You stupid fucker. Like, what do you mean? It literally it's hopped into a constant, YouTube stream it's the with constant under viewers, constant belittling in insults that you throw in that just to make your argument. to come on here to show me how upset he is with who I am. I'd say you're at least a little bit triggered. Trigger their dick, just a tiny bit. So I'm very trickled. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I do. I do. Like, I think you're a corrosive force. Like I think I you're a shit. I about you, force. right? The, the problem is that I, when I got a... because, no, because everybody has this in them. This niggling need. To wait, wait, Destiny. Let's go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead, Dick. No, I mean he just he was talking. He was getting on Zoom earlier about talking over him, and he was trying to talk over you. Go ahead, Dick. Give your give your thoughts. Everybody has this this niggling impulse to win, no matter what. And you are that impulse. I, that's why you're popular, because you lead these throngs of your 72 virgins or whatever you got, your thousand following you around. And you are that. Like, you are this promise of this guy, no matter what the problem is, he's always going to logically hump everybody who opposes him. But I think you're a scumbag because you don't help people understand shit. You just argue to argue. I mean, I don't argue to argue. I argue because I actually want to like figure out like what's correct in any given position. But most people don't. They just want to reinforce whatever it is they feel. That's why you're so frustrated whenever you have a conversation with me is because you realize you have no way of actually justifying any of your positions. You just have a bunch of feelings and you get upset when anybody challenges them. Destiny, I don't need to justify it. Trump's in office, dude. We won. We're getting that fucking wall. Right. We're going to win know, again. Not I need to justify office, shit, you little motherfucker. When I hug a woman, I smell the top of her head. I don't bury my face in her ass. I don't need to right now. justify You're anything. You're so fucking mad, dude. Are you okay? No. Yes, like, I am mad. It's perfectly fine for a like, man to like, be. Like, like, you low testosterone fuck. Who cares that Trump won an election? Are we talking about that? It's fine to be angry at you. At you. It's totally fine to be angry because you represent something that is fundamentally flawed in people. But logic? You are the Having like a reasonable discussion? Everyone hates you. Are the, no, listen, you little fuck. Fuck. That's what triggers the fuck out of you? Tell me, Dick. How you, are you are the one who shuns your family for politics. You are what's wrong with everyone. Do you know that Trump That's won? what I'm telling you right you know now. It's fine to be angry about that. It's totally fine. And it, yeah, go ahead. I don't have any. There's I nothing for me to respond to. It's literally just you being fucking triggered as fuck. I mean, you can keep going if you want. But wait, you, you could say, oh, you're triggered. I mean, you were doing that with Zoom earlier. You seem pretty triggered with him. So anybody that gets any type of emotion in their argument, you did it with me too. Oh, well, you must be triggered. You're really mad right now. Whoa. But when you get upset, when you get loud, oh, no, I'm just I'm just trying to examine the issues. I mean, it, that's that kind of seems like your MO there. Well, no, the, the problem is that like I try to like break things down in a logical fashion, but I can't. When someone like Dick just comes in and they're just real fucking mad and they can't engage with any argument there's no way to really talk to a person well there are but i don't like talk to people this way it's not Destiny, funny. this is what a man sounds like when he's talking i don't know why this is the first time you've heard this in your life but this is what it's i don't know why like. you think stupidity is like some exclusive <laughs> man in the future or whatever I, I, like, there are plenty of men that are intelligent like i don't understand why you, you think that you have to be some blithering emotional fucking douchebag in order to have a conversation i mean maybe that's what you sound like but did the douchebags take a woman from you buddy is that what is that what happened to you? Did you get wronged by douchebags in your life? I, and now you get one over know. on us. Are you projecting a little bit there? Did you lose a girl to a progressive, some green haired fucking screamy dude on some college campus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, is that, that's is that what happened? The story is all this time. The Chad loses a girl to a guy who's really supportive of women's rights. I mean, this is Isn't that what you guys are talking about? <laughs> right? Isn't that what you that's guys cry about? When has that ever happened in the history of the world? Yeah. Like, when has that ever happened? <laughs> yeah. over all the fucking women and shit? I thought that was your guys' calling card. 
whose calling card is losing women to progressive four foot tall soy fucks where does this happen i thought that was the whole fucking incel movement you guys crying about losing fucking women because you don't make enough money or because feminism is destroying women fucking like incel dudes or some shit isn't this your shit destiny what the fuck no, that's are you my shit about? actually that's your shit okay <laughs> destiny what are you talking about I don't know what, what the are you fuck talking are you talking about. It's, a, it's our it's our movement to lose women to men like you. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just responding to your points, dude. Are you okay? Dick, no, hang on, hang on, yeah. Dick, Dick, hang on, hang on. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Destiny, hi, how's it going? Um, Another caller? What's up? Or are you someone that's? It's Coach Red Pill. Go, it's ahead, go ahead, Coach. Go yeah. ahead, Coach. Well, I'm I'm famously a horrible, horrible debater, so I'm not going to try to debate you, Destiny, because you'll beat me. You know. Uh, but one thing I have to point out, you, you said just now that what you want to do is argue from a point of logic and not emotion, that you're, you, you argue with people to show that they are arguing out of emotion and you are arguing out of logic. Is that correct? Is that what you basically said that's, just yeah, now? That's my goal. I don't always. I mean, I fuck up sometimes, but that's generally my goal. Yeah. Okay. Well, so early before, you know, I mean... You know, it's just what I heard you say. You said that you didn't see an issue of uh, any kind of morality or, or anything wrong with uh, incest. But then you said that it creeped you out and that's why you were opposed to it. So wouldn't that mean that you're arguing and uh, against incest from an emotional point of view as opposed to a rational point of view? Isn't that kind of contradictory? You tell me. No. So talking about a person's personal preferences isn't the same as making moral prescriptions for society. So for instance, well, somebody hang on, ask, hang on, hang on a second. Hang on a second. It okay. said you're you're saying that, you know, it's it creeps you out. And that's an emotional reaction. And that's why you were saying that you were against incest. I never said I was against incest. Actually, I said I wouldn't do it. Oh, okay. So you, no, you actually, wouldn't... he said it should be legal, and then he said, "No, it's gross. I wouldn't do it. Of course not." No, uh, that was when you asked me if I would fuck my sister, or brother. Well, I, I mean, that's incest. I mean, yeah, but I wouldn't do it because it's gross. So you're arguing out of emotions, and you can't define no, no, why it would be I'm... something that you're against. So if somebody would ask me about like mint chocolate chip ice cream, this is the most disgusting fucking thing to have ever been invented on the earth. People that eat mint flavored anything are fucking gross. I don't like it. I, I, I like never, it. I, eat I it. never eat mint flavored ice cream. Fuck that. Uh -huh. But that, but I would never make it illegal. Chocolate right? chip if, mint's pretty good, Destiny. I'm sorry. So if we were to go through the logical <laughs> argument, I would say that eating chocolate chip mint ice cream or whatever, that's like a morally neutral thing. I wouldn't prescribe. Yeah, but the thing is, see, the, the, there's a the, it's it's a trivial issue. You're you're confusing those things that are morally more important with the trivial issue of mint chocolate. And you know that, that you're doing that. And uh, let me just step back here. Hang on. Let me just step back here a little bit and take up something that Dick was saying. Uh, Wait, see, hang on. Hang on a second. Can I just, can, can I just uh, go ahead, coach, give, give it and I'll, I'll let it go back to Dick. Go ahead, coach. Okay. Well, uh, Dick was pointing out something about you that is accurate, which is that, see, you're, what people recognize, although they might not be able to articulate it, is that you're fundamentally nihilistic and you're arguing just to get a rise out of people. You're not interested in finding the truth. And you keep saying that that what you're what you're doing is arguing out of logic, but that's not it. You're basically pulling a gish gallop, you know, arguing different points, jabbing at people constantly. But you don't want to get to a truth that that can satisfy everybody or can help people build something more real insofar as their epistemology, uh, uh, their epistemic framework. You're not trying to build anything. You're just trying to break things down. And I think that that's why people despise you, because they fundamentally recognize that you have no interest trying in build. building anything, which is what the point of a conversation usually is. You're just trying to destroy. Have you thought that maybe you should change, that maybe you would be happier and actually be more productive in your own life and the lives of the people who listen to you if you try to build instead of just destroy? Well, I'm sorry, what do you and mean by sure. epistemic framework? Yeah, you're, you're, you, you undercut people's ability to know things by constantly arguing their positions on the, the nitpickiest of items and bypassing the, fa the fact that a lot of times 
when people refer to uh, specific issues, we all know more or less what they're talking about, but then you try to nitpick so as to undermine their argument. You're, you're trying to undermine people's epistemic framework. This is a basic concept in philosophy. If you're not familiar with it, yeah, that's understandable. No, I know what I know what epistemology is. I just I don't think either. I was just curious why you use the, the term epistemic framework because nothing that we're talking about here has anything to do with a theory of knowledge. Yes, um, it does. It it, it it does. It really doesn't. We're not talking about like theories uh, yeah. of truth this, this, or anything. Like that. This is my specialty, so I think it. Yes, it does. You're you're trying to undermine people's ability to build on the knowledge that they have, which is what people try to do when they have an argument, a conversation. You're trying to undermine any kind of epistemic certainty just for shits and giggles. And we all recognize that. Okay. Um, what's your point? That wouldn't you be happier trying to build instead of destroy? Um, if that building is on subjective emotional feelings that have like no foundation and emotion, rash, have no like your subjective emotions that you are no. So to, when we make rational uh, arguments, incest because of oh feelings. My God. When, so typically, when you make rational arguments, right, we're trying to employ forms of like deductive reasoning that are hopefully free. Do you know uh, what deductive reasoning reasoning is opposed to inductive reasoning or abductive reasoning? Do you know these terms? I don't know what I mean, abductive reasoning is. Deductive I mean, reasoning generally fine. means that a conclusion will always follow from some premises, right? Okay. So and given premise, an inductive, in, in, in inductive reasoning is, is something that can't be known 100%, but it's generally more generalized. No, argument. no that's not the definition of inductive. <sighs> okay, my okay. dude, tell me. Uh, inductive Definitely reasoning. You're blown the fuck out, dude. <laughs> I'm not. This guy just talked for like ten minutes. Like, you, no, so no. Inductive reasoning is a method of reasoning which the premises pro. are viewed as supplying some evidence for the truth of the conclusion, while the conclusion of inductive reasoning. Wait, wait. You're just reading a definition of. Yeah, I'm reading it now because it's basically what I just said. Okay. You're a fucking genius. The truth of the conclusion of an inductive reasoning may be probable based on the evidence given. Wait, how is this different from what I just said? You look like an idiot. Well, I mean, I could just sit here and Google anything I don't know and just read off the definition. Yeah. I mean, this yeah, exactly. See, it, it's it's Coach fine. Coach Redfield's fucking smarter than you, dude. <laughs> you just literally said nothing for like fifteen minutes. I don't. Well, I, don't know. I just yeah, demonstrated the fact that you're just trying to it. undermine you and not build it. statement. You didn't demonstrate anything. Yes, I did. Why you, are you creeping out by incest? Why are you because I personally interest? because it's not. Here's a question. Can you be, tell me? Be logical, please. Tell us why you're creeped out by incest. Do you know what the difference is between a, a descriptive statement versus a normative statement? Yes. Please explain to me why, and all of us why you're creeped out. I mean, you're you're a big fan of logic, so you ought to be able to logically explain why you're creeped out by incest. Can you just tell me the difference between a descriptive and a normative statement? Okay. Look, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just not as smart yeah, as you. Right. I'm just not as smart as you. All no, 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 I can no, no, see is that smart. you're, you're I'm just, just, just trying to figure out like what you're presenting yourself as, like because you bring up like epistemic framework and use it in a, in a very like insane fashion. So I'm trying to figure out who the fuck I'm talking to. So the yeah, state you just talking talking to a guy who has a long time studying philosophy and like yeah, and and I know what you're doing. No, okay. I, you know what I'm doing. I'm this, yeah, you're and, you're just trying to undermine any it, argument just no, so that you can see very, show yourself to be a winner. Can I see? respond to your question, or am I not allowed? Well, to do I'm that? I'm telling you, like I'm, I'm, you I'm trying to prove to you and the audience even where here. you're coming from. What my argument is, and like, the like, fact that you're freaking yeah. out kind of like proves my point now, doesn't it? I'm not freaking you got, out. You got found this out. I didn't get found out for anything. Yes, you did. You got found out by me, dude. I called it. I called it exactly what you were, and I'm an idiot. I'm a stupid <laughs> jock Chad that played high school baseball. This I played high school baseball. I've ever I fucking agreed you out. I oh, fucking God. called you out, and everyone God. knows it. You God. little fraud. God. You God. fucking gremlin. I, totally I played God. high school God. sports. God. I fucking oh, I have a bar. Dick, Dick, you're underselling. I'm pretty. You're actually smarter than. Dick, hang on a second. Hang on. Let me just just. Dick, you're underselling. I have to like sum up. Coach Red Pill, go ahead and dialogue us. Okay, let me just let me just point out what I think. Okay, and I'm probably talking out of my ass, but you know, Dusty, it seems to me that. You try to undercut every argument and try to destroy any possibility of developing any kind of truth because you want to show everybody that you're the smartest guy in the room. Because probably, you know, growing up, maybe yeah, people didn't think you were very clever, or maybe you did weren't able to get the credentials that you thought you deserved. But 
I it know. just seems to me that you're just trying to show off how clever you are by destroying. And that I find objectionable. I understand. Because- you, but when I'm in conversations with people like you, everything I do is going to look like I'm showing off my intelligence because Jesus. That you're not very right. smart. You're Jesus just being not, able to Google right. stuff and right. repeat a definition well, that you right. read does not mean that you're intelligent, Dustin. We're having definitions. We're having basic conversations about logical structures here. Like, yeah, you- okay. So tell me what abductive logic is. I don't know what the fuck abductive logic is. I don't even know what the fuck. You Google is. it and repeat yeah, it. Now you'll know. Any of <laughs> right now. Right? You're asking me, here was the original question 50 million lines of dialogue ago you asked me. You said, yeah. how can you think that incest is creepy but still argue it's morally neutral? This is why I asked you what the difference is between a descriptive statement and a normative statement. Yeah. So descriptively, that is a mm-hmm. statement of fact about the world. I can say, Stephen does not like incest. However, Stephen, just because I have I, your number. I, I have your number. I don't you're care. You're insecure and you're trying to show off. Is this an SAT you know. question? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Everyone has my fucking <laughs> number. That, that's who you are. I don't I'm sorry, man. I, I, I can't do. take seriously somebody oh who Let just wants to show off that they're smart. Again. Holy okay. shit. Okay. Hey, Gator. Hey, Zidane. Zidane, man, I haven't talked to you in the longest time, man. How have you been? He's really, he really can't handle me even restating, like stating a single argument. Uh, oh, dude, shit. dude, see, you're, you're <laughs> okay, smarter talking than me and you're a better debater than me. Does that I'm make you happy? I'm a better debater. Yeah, I'll concede irrational. it. I'll be concede irrational. that you're smarter and you're that you're a better debater than me. Like something Everybody knows and, that and, I and suck and at debating. Okay? Any level of but the fact of the matter is you know, that I can recognize an insecure little guy who wants to show up that he's smart and he's got some sort of power because he feels powerless in the world. He okay. feels powerless, How and he I recognizes that he has been pushed aside by the world. And he found oh, a little right. niche where Poor he impresses people, white and wealthy, and people United think States. that he's smart, but he's oh not. God. And you only destroy – you don't build anything. It's great. That's why and people and despise you. I'm going to be able to do it. Stephen, oh, I, I, I hope for your so sake long. that you change because you're going to have a very lonely life, man. I know. I'm so lonely right now. On yes, this, I, uh, yes I am sure you are. I mean, how logical I mean, I is know you are. Holy shit. Okay. Where does that rate I, on the I got to hop. Because it's very hot, and I got to go to All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. shit. Thanks for jumping in. Um. It's it's just a kill stream uh, trio here and uh, Dick and Destiny, uh, CRP made a little guest appearance there. Oh, uh, it's like the fucking anime character that comes in the side and right. drops like a big soliloquy and then like fucking walks out like holy shit. Okay, it's not a soliloquy; it's an execution. I don't even think you know what a soliloquy is, <laughs> but okay, my dude. That was funny to you. You laughed at that. Well, because well, you like corrected me, and you're like clearly fucking lost here. You just like some lost no, child wandered in, it like wasn't a correct, call names to people. And you have no fucking idea what you're actually doing here. You. And you're like you're desperately on the sidelines, like trying to hook into any fucking sentence. Like maybe I can get a short joke in there, or whatever. And I and you even self admittedly are like too fucking stupid for the subject matter. I mean, you so know who I, Dick I, Masterson is. You know he's he's legitimately smarter than you, right? I mean, like this. I mean, I, I know that he's popular on Patreon. That's all I know about him. Well, I mean, that's. Yeah, I guess you don't know anything about him, but he's actually he's actually objectively, and I and I love no, Dick Masterson. I'm not just saying that, but he's legitimately uh, had, schooled like, and hour smarter hour than you. Like it's not even close. I mean, I mean, this is, this is, this is that's my, they talk my about point this, is that this has nothing to do with that's intelligence. That's true. That's true. Actually. Actually. Like, yes. Pretty much, it's, it's fine. It's fine for Destiny to do this as his job, and it's cool to show off and show off at how in, like how much you can logically debate people and fuck up, fuck up other people's points for fun. But fundamentally, you're contributing to people not understanding each other, and I hope everybody who watches you grows out of it, okay. because I think, I think what you do leads to unhappiness like yeah, you right. unfriend your family exactly over politics like the people like you are the reason why democracy is failing in the west people that don't realize when they're making what? emotional stupid fucking arguments and can't engage with the real Dude, world you just said or, you it's fine to disown your family over politics and i and i kind of talked about that but to me yeah, that's you just a disagree boring. with that yeah well yeah or it's ridiculous you, argue, you can argue that point if you want you don't well, think it's, it's fine to dis- no i don't i've said that forever family. let's say that you've got a family member that's a nazi do you think it's okay to disown that family member it's only your family. I, don't I mean, see, only... here we go again. Here we go again. Of course, you go to the most extreme, but yeah, as a general, 
the absurdity of your no, argument. You as a general rule, I w- no, I wouldn't disown my family member for being a Nazi, no. Oh, cool. Okay, well, at least you're consistent. I think most people would. Well, okay. That might be most... Actually, I don't agree with you that most people would. Politics no, are politics. So. Okay, uh, my family is family. Uh, I've, I was raised like that. I take that to the grave. I don't give a fuck. You or anybody else can come here and tell me different. I would never accept that. No. Family what is if family. One of your family members was a murderer. Would you disown him then? No. Damn. Okay. Destiny, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even disown a family member if it was you. Wow. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> but no, if a murder, I mean, that doesn't mean I support their murder, but would I disown my family member because they killed somebody? No, absolutely not. All right, cool. That's good. I don't give a fuck about the idea that like family bonds are like. I mean, would you? Yeah, fuck that shit, dude. I don't know who choose who the fuck I'm born with. Why the fuck would I value that connection? I mean, I'm I'm of the strong belief that uh, any person's <laughs> capable of of a murder. Actually, yeah, uh, I agree with you. But still, I don't choose my family. Why would I feel some special fucking bond with them? Well, like, so if you, if you believe that anybody could could fall short or have a moment of weakness where they actually kill another human being, which I actually I do believe that. I don't think that's a very controversial thought. Uh, why would you disown your family member because they fell short or had a moment of weakness? I'd disown a friend if they did it too. I would disown anyone in my life. Why? If I could someone because I don't because I can choose who I associate well, with. Why would you? What they they fell short? They made a mistake. Why would you disown them just because they murdered somebody? Yeah, if somebody's values misalign with mine so much, I wouldn't want to be friends with that person. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. Now that doesn't mean what every a single weird way to go through life. It's yeah. not weird at all. Are a lot of your like friends like progressive SJWs? Probably not. You're probably generally surrounded by people that, for the most part, line up with your values. That's a pretty common. I mean, I have thing. a lot of friends Destiny, who don't I live in the middle of LA. Are you fucking kidding me? Nobody lines up with me at all. Yeah, okay. that's what I was gonna say. Dude, I have, dude, I have, George, you mean George and and dude, I, I, have, I have friends from 20 years ago that I grew up with who don't even pay attention to anything I do online, and I'm still friends with them, and we still talk, and it's right, not, it's not really an issue. Amen, dude. I'm saying a prayer for you right now. You're so fucking holy. No, but why would they care? I mean, it's friendship's friendship. I mean, I, I don't understand. Okay. I don't know. I, if that's if that's the way All you right, want to live. It's been real, guys. Talking Thank with you, Dick. the two and a half men here tonight. <laughs> I gotta go. Dick. Uh, Coach kills the bomb. I can't debate for shit. I know I always sound like an asshole, but I... I pretty much have destiny pegged, and I think everybody can see it. I uh, love the show. Okay, I'll catch destiny. you around sometime. Dick. I live in Palmdale now, so maybe we'll uh, run into each other somewhere, okay? You can peg me in real life, all right? A reminder, incest is illegal, so don't get any funny ideas. I know you okay. get kids. Dick, right. thank you. Well, see you in Knoxville away. soon. By the way, yeah. thank you for having me on the show Sunday. I appreciate it, man. Well, you know, I'll, get, I'll give you credit where credit's due. I mean, first off, you, you came on this show. There's a lot of uh, lefties that... Just won't come on this program, which I, I wonder mean, why. Well, I mean, look, I understand. It, it is I what mean, it is. But... Literally, here was threatening to. I like so. Like, here's a funny thing that. No, wait. What did Coach? Me. No, wait a minute. What did Coach yeah. threaten to do? Hold on. Trying to what? dox me. I don't think so. I mean, he everybody. What do you mean, dox you? Everybody knows who you are he already. Told me, so he told me to be careful because he has my number. Did no, he, that's he not what he meant. Are you serious? Wait, I really? Meant, I, no, I think he meant no, your number. No, that's not what he meant. He meant he had your style. Destiny, come on, you can't be real right now. Okay, maybe he maybe he had your number. Dude, Coach Red Pill's like fifty years old. He meant he had your number. That's an old saying. Like I have your number. I know what you uh, are. Maybe, maybe. Oh come on, come on dude. <laughs> Wait, no, you're no. joke. You're joking right now, right? I don't know, dude. <laughs> That's well, a literal like, boomer saying. No, nah, dude. He was just he was just saying I have your number. I know who you are. And not that he literally had your number. Oh man, I wonder sometimes. <laughs> if you guys, a lot of dogs oh, coming here. No. Oh shit! I just yeah. want to talk to this guy for just a second. Destiny, no, I don't want to. All you do is fucking talk at me. I didn't get to respond to a single thing you said last time. Okay, I don't well, wait. Just, no, I, wait, 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 wait. wait no, you're you're trying to said that I was going to dox you. Video. Uh, yeah, I missed a video. I, I, I have your number, like a fucking yeah. number. I, I, I know your number. I know who you are. And when you lose, <laughs> like you lost now, you you start getting hysterical and saying like you are getting hysterical now. Saying that I was threatening to dox you. Wait, when, when you I, say you have I, my number, you're just using that like yeah. as a phrase, right? Not like you have my phone number. I, I don't even know where you fucking live. You yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I misunderstood you. I thought when you and said like you think I would right care, head. you fucking I don't know. loser. You care enough to come into a fucking Google? How can you now, say I'm you gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. here in the fucking you hangout. Talking well, Destiny, Destiny, man. Destiny. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I mean, wait a minute. Not only do I will you tell you who you, you are. The stream after you're a man. A always got the shit kicked out of him. And while you do that, you say you don't care. How do you even? You're getting hysterical, Stephen. Calm down. 
You're take your pills, listening take to the your thing. little pills, and calm here. down yeah. while I tell you who you, you, you are. All right, wait. Gotta give him a word. You're, you're a guy Gus. who got the shit out of him name all of his life. I'm Gus, only Gus can we talk one at a time? Go ahead. Go sure. ahead, Coach. Yes. Because the only thing you had going for you was that you were able to solve Rubik's Cubes and be annoying to people. I'm not going to lie. And I you grew up, and what did you become? A guy who just annoys for the sake of annoying so as to prove that he's the smartest guy in the room. That's literally... You think that I haven't met guys like you before? Are you like a psychologist? Do you do these diagnoses? No, I'm you? just an old fart who's seen a lot. How, That's who I, I am. Diagnosis? Or? I know who you are. I've Wait, seen guys like you before. I don't know who you are in the literal sense, and you Wait, know that I'm not that talking Wait, in a literal are sense. Are you undermining my epistemic framework using <laughs> adductive logic? Holy shit. Abductive, <sighs> you imbecile. Abductive, not adaptive. I said adductive. You're, are we done with this? Who's the next caller? I know who you are, and I'm going to tell you something. Your yeah. life is going to be filled with, with bitterness. I'm and not you're going to have nothing in your life, okay? And you're going to, and I'll tell you this. Yeah. I'll lay odds, three to five. Three to five. You What's off yourself odds? by the time you're 45. Oh, coach! 45. Three, oh. not one to two odds. Three no. to five odds. I like very specific there. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want to ask you, like, what, what is like your, how, how did you get your Bayesian analysis? Where did you get to that three to five, that exact fucking, oh, like, Jesus. because I knew a couple of guys just like you. One uh -huh. committed him, committed suicide. The other had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> what the fuck? How much will you give me three? To, can I wait? So 45. So fit, how old are you now? 50. I've seen your videos. You're pretty fat. You're probably not going to be around to honor that bet in 15 years. But if you are, I'll... <laughs> no way. So you already knew who Coach Red Bill was then. Yeah. Yeah, he's the guy that does like the 15 different camera angles or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. Coach Kino. So you already knew who he was. You try to act like you didn't know who he was. Well, I don't know like specifically, but I've seen some of his videos. Oh, okay. So you did know Coach Kino then. Okay. Steven, I know you're, I've got your number. I've got your number. You know that I know who you are. You, I mean, okay. you don't know all so that. Next time we cross paths, you better <laughs> fucking run because I'm going to beat you up to all of you again. Okay. If you ever want to okay. have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation, go ahead and we're me. having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I blew you the fuck out, -on -one little man. So go back to solving Rubik's cubes and yeah. entertain well, you know, foolish children who think that you're intelligent. Well